time is it? Oh, you know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. If you haven't hit it, girl, you better go ahead right down there. And it's time to find my Instagram, Geekly Amanda, G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda, same on Twitter. And it's time to get this reaction video started. y'all if you haven't noticed and i know you have that i just haven't been putting out the videos this is a crazy time we're in crazy time i'm gonna still try to do i went on wednesday to do my live i'm gonna keep that up every week but i might not have videos every day because life's hectic my kids the school's closed down so i'm homeschooling them they got the stuff online but i gotta be here all day homeschooling them my husband works in the hospital so it's scary he works in the hospital radiology so every day I'm worrying about him. He comes home. I we go do the routine. I spray him down. He leaves all his clothes and stuff out in the garage, and I'm spraying. And he goes right into the shower. But it's still a scary time. A lot of places are in quarantine. A lot of places are mandatory lockdown. But still, still it's scary because the hospital workers they have to go every day. And then someone told me, my one of my, my folks over there in India said that the other day they had to um what was it what is it the applause for the healthcare workers all around the, the country so they sent me this video i want to check it out i got tissues because you know this makes me this will make me tear up like anything just because i have firsthand experience my husband's out there and and you don't know what he's gonna bring home or, or just catch himself but also bring home to us and it's scary scary and all those people going out there just to help, knowing, knowing any minute they can catch something. Let's watch this together. I'm going to have my tissues. <sighs> Go. Let's now show you uh, the glimpses of uh, gratitude coming in uh, from across the Look country here in India where people have been uh, taking to their balconies, taking to the streets, uh, expressing their gratitude to those who have been fighting on the front lines in the COVID-19 crisis. This, of course, is a part of the Janata curfew or the self-imposed curfew that was called for by Prime Minister Modi. They all look for the healthcare workers. These are the people, they put their lives on the line just to be out there making sure we can take care of the sick that's getting this. Oh, look at that gratitude. Oh, look at it. Oh, everywhere. Everywhere. The little kids out there. Oh, I'm going to tear up. Look. It touches my heart and it and I say you know the hospital workers and stuff but there's more than else they got the pharmacies open the grocery people these aren't people at the grocery stores that took the vow to to put their lives on the line to help the sick and all that these are just people like work in the grocery store stocking up food that when they took this job you think they're gonna be in this kind of position this one that they they got to go out every day to, to, to put the groceries out there and all and, and be caught also in this pandemic. Oh, it's scary times. And look at the numbers today. Look at the numbers. So we're talking about India. I saw at the bottom and I want to scroll down. Where's, where's the numbers in India? Active cases, 425. There was 29 new ones, one death. I don't even know where y'all rank on, on the thing because you're so far down. U.S., we're number three now. We're ranked number third with the most cases after China and Italy, which we're right behind them. They were saying we're 10 days out from Italy where they're at with the virus. And we're, we're already at 35,000 people with new cases. And this is something because we're not even testing everybody. They, we don't have enough tests to test everybody. They don't have a, a, a countrywide mandatory quarantine here. Oh no, they're leaving it up to our great federal government and leaving up to the states to make the decisions right now 
to go in quarantine. My state is not like a mandatory quarantine. They have things like ban over 10 people gathering and all that kind of stuff. But it's not mandatory here that we have to stay in. They want the social distance and all that. But there are still so many people. I'm still getting invites to come over people's houses for parties and stuff like that. And I'm like, don't you get this through your head? What's going on? People here, they all don't. I have a family member that has it. I do. They're admitted in the hospital right now. They do have an underlying condition of asthma. This one must start crying. I don't know. They're in one of the hot spots. They say like New York's a hot spot and New Orleans is a hot spot. You know, I'm originally from New Orleans. They was admitted in the hospital two days ago, tested a week ago today, still haven't gotten the results. So that's what I'm saying. Even people that have taken the test still haven't gotten results. So these numbers, 35,000, I bet there's millions of people here that have it. I don't know what to do. I, I, We're here doing our part, staying in, trying to be protective and spread the word to people. You, If you see me on my Facebook or even my Twitter and stuff, I'm posting every day trying to get through it to people's heads. It's all we can do right now, I guess. It's all we can do is spread the word and just pray for our, our loved ones. And when I see things like this around the country, it warms my heart because, yeah, that's the people out there that's that's on the front lines of it. And here, it's starting to get a little bad in the hospitals, but I know New York and those places are already overwhelmed. But where I live, it's starting to get a little bad, but we haven't even seen a tenth of the worst of it. I'm going to keep you updated, but right now, I'm going to go hug my babies, get them up, and hug yours, hug your families, your loved ones, and just know we got to stick together on this. I love y'all. I love y'all.